Rashman. It's as simple as that. There is no shalom, brother. Shalom. Shalom, sis. There is no, no escaping for him. You know, you're Israelites, right? Yeah. Absolutely, yeah? He, 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 he doesn't, Absolutely. He doesn't, okay. He, he, he doesn't, but you do. He no, 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 you, you listen. You can absolutely ask questions. But, but he, where are you from? I'm from the DRC Congo. Congo. He's Congolese. He's an absolute Israelite. All of those that came from the west coast of Africa are Israelites. And there are many Israelites. Are they not Caribbean? I know. It does, where did we come from? Israel. Right, but from Israel to where? We right, and then from there to the West Indies. Yeah, but so he, we. But he's inland. That's, yeah, Congo is right next to, like, underneath Ghana, right? No, but I was, I was up there. This is, this is what I understood. Oh, sure. It's 12 tribes. Same thing you see here. 12 tribes of Judah. He don't know about yeah. that either. I'll try. Yeah. <laughs> the 12 tribes. Can I take yeah. a picture? Not of me. Take up the sign. It's on the sign here. No, you... No, no, no. no, no. no. Just you, no, 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 it's here. It's, it's here. It's here. It's here. It's here. It's right here. Take it right here. Yeah. No, the Congolese, they are also Israelites. So, can I take a... I won't check take the picture of your face, I promise. No, no, but you can take no, it here. I, I don't want to take a picture. No, I like these. <laughs> I, I promise I won't take the picture of your face. All right, go on. I'm trying not to frame your face. These are just fringes. But Congo, people from the Congo are also Israelites. Because, absolutely, that's fine, I trust you. Because many of Many of the Israelites, when they came to the West Coast, they also settled in the Congo. Some of them also settled down in South Africa yeah. as well. But the, the only thing is that they were there, do you know what I mean? I'm talking about the ones that were already are you, there. Are you, yeah. Not the ones who came from where we're from okay. that, that were there. The reason why we fled to the West Coast of Africa is because there was already Israelite communities living in there. Okay. So, I'll give an example. When the Lord fled Herod, where did he go to? I don't know. Egypt. We went to Egypt because there was Israelite communities in Egypt okay. living amongst the Hamites, the right. Africans. Yeah. That's why he fled there. And then he came back to Jerusalem when he was 12 years old, the Lord. Because he fled just before he reached about two years old. Because Herod was killing all of the babies, yeah. the baby the boys. Boy. That's right, yeah. that was less than two years yeah. old. Yeah. Because he heard about a prophecy of yeah. the king of the Jews that was coming. Mm -hmm. That's where our Lord fled. He fled yeah. to Egypt because it, Israelites have always been living scattered around the places they didn't just stay in israel because the only tribe that was in israel at the time of our downfall under the emperor vespasian the roman emperor and his son general titus mm -hmm. was the southern kingdom judah benjamin and levi mm -hmm. the northern kingdom was already in the americas mm -hmm. which we know today yeah, as the yeah, native yeah. american yeah. indian tribes yeah. of north south america and canada yeah. okay now israelites were also scattered living in asia this is why the apostle paul went to all of those churches, the seven churches yeah. in Asia Minor. Mm -hmm. He went to Ephesians, to Ephesians, the Corinthians, to the Romans, because we were living in all these different places and that. We was also living in Egypt as well. We was also living in pockets in West Africa as yeah. well. And that's why we fled there, because our people was already there, basically, mm -hmm. in that, when we fled the Romans. So there are Israelites that didn't go onto the slave ships that are still in Nigeria, okay, yeah. Ghana, Congo, New Guinea, Mali, Cameroon, South Africa, because the white man didn't scoop us all up. That's right. But a lot of us got scooped up on those slave ships because of Bible prophecy, had to go into slavery. Yeah. And this is why there's so much suffering of our people still living amongst the Africans in Africa today. Mm -hmm. They don't realize that because you say you're an African, right? Do you think you're an African? Who named Africa, Africa? A Roman, yeah. Scipio Africanus, he conquered what we know as the Carthaginian Empire, today what you call Tunisia, um, Morocco, Morocco yeah. uh, Egypt, yeah. all of that was part of the Carthaginian Empire. Yeah. There was a war called the Punic Wars that was going on between the Romans and the Carthaginians. The Carthaginians, the people that lived in there, were actual Israelites. That oh, lived there, oh, that called oh, themselves. So Hannibal, oh, Hannibal the Great, they depict Hannibal as this Arab or this white man. Hannibal was a dark skinned black man. He was an Israelite that ruled the Carthaginian Empire. Basically, in there. So when Scipio Africana defeated 
um, Hannibal the Great in the Punic Wars, they named Africa after him. And that's how he got his name. Africa's original name is Ham, which just means hot. That's what the word Kush means, mm. or Kemet. Yeah. It goes back to the word Ham. Yeah. This means hot. That's all it is. That's its original name, Africa, basically in that. So there are different nations of so-called black people. What the white man wants you, all of us to believe is that all black people are Africans, and that's it. And they are everything else. The Babylonians were so-called black people. The Assyrians were so-called black people. So, yeah, yeah, seriously. You go back to the Persians and the Medes under Xerxes, um, Cyrus, Darius. These were all so-called black people. Just different nations of black people. Yeah, but I think what, 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 you know, is within the context we're talking about now. Yeah. You know, when people, when you're talking about African, within this context. Yeah, so yeah. now they do because they're the ones yes. that named it Africa. And they're the ones that named all of the countries in Africa, gave them their names. Yeah. Nigeria, named by the white man after the Niger River. Yeah. They came and named everything. So when they sliced up they Africa, sliced up everything. absolutely. And that was in the 1800s, right? In 1884, in the Berlin Conference. Yeah. They sat around a the table, they said, instead of us going to war against each other, the French, the Germans, the Spanish, the English, the Portuguese, we're just going to carve it up. You can have this part, you can have that part, so we don't have to kill each other for it. That's what they did. They sat around a table. And they yeah. carved it up and then they named it after themselves. They did the same thing with the Middle East. When they conquered the Turks, who was the Ottoman Empire in the Middle East, the French and the English just put a line through the Middle East and they created countries. They created Iraq. Iraq never existed as a country. Yeah. The only country that existed. They didn't existed, even take care of the look at the uh, tribes and. Uh, they, they didn't give a damn. They, they just put a line. It's just money thing, isn't it? The whole but thing was money. I think it was in the book of. Uh, Iraq but, is even considered like part of Africa as well because well, it's, it's, it's one continent. It's a continent. In a sense, because you don't and need when to. And the Bible talks about the Euphrates River, and you look at like where the Garden of Eden is. Uh, absolutely, it's, it is essentially what they would have yeah, deemed. It's part of the Africa. Promised Land. Well, yeah. well, it is part of the. You see what it is. The Garden of Eden was you had the River Euphrates, you had the the River Tigris, then you've got the the the, the River Nile that goes through Egypt yeah. all the way down to Ethiopia. And then you've got the um, the Red Sea. So all of these four make up part of the Promised Land. The Promised Land that the Lord is coming back to establish starts from the River Nile in Egypt that goes down to the Blue Nile in Ethiopia, all the way to the River Euphrates in what we know as modern day Iraq. That's the actual Promised Land. It cuts all across Saudi Arabia, and then it goes back up again. That's all of that is the actual Promised Land. That little strip of land that they're fighting over, Israel and the Palestinians, that's only part of the promised land. What you see them fighting over today, yeah, what they yeah, call yeah. Gaza, the yeah, West yeah, yeah. Bank, and, and that's Israelis only, that's and that. That's only for, that's only for show. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's only for a short while. Because the laws will show. No, it's, it's just, just a show. Because the people that are pretending to be from the name. That's right. I don't think it's for sure. No, I think it's, it's again, it's like within the time we live in. No, no, but they're not fighting for the, you know, for land. For, and what you think with this They had to come up with that story because otherwise, who would be the people that would have done the 400 years? There'll be nobody that would have been on the captive screen, captive screen, they didn't have to. So they have to, they have to go along with that story. So what do you mean they have no Jewish narrative? Well, I'm not here to what do you mean that? Like all the cross and all that. Well, we, we refer to them as the 1948ers. They yes. came into land in 1948. Yeah. They're not from there. They're not Jews. They're not the Jews. Oh, of the but Bible. you're recording. Yeah, live. Yeah, yeah, we're live on YouTube. Yeah. So <laughs> those those people in the land of Israel today are not the Jews of the Bible. The Jews of the Bible come from the 12 tribes of Israel. Yeah, I understand that. Okay. Uh, so what they are, they are people... But the, what you're talking about, the Jew in Israel now? Yeah. That's the Jew in Israel, like, they're just European, they took there. They, that's they right. immigrated that's there why they after them, the war. Absolutely. You know, that, I know that. Yeah. You know, that's so why they call I understand themselves, that. This is why they call themselves Israelis. Israelis. They don't yeah. call themselves Israelites. Israel. Israel was created after the war because yeah. they were persecuted and they were kind of... After the war, well, the reason why it was created to create is because Lord Rothschild signed a letter, it's called the Balfour Treaty, in 1922, yeah. that allowed them to establish that land in the Palestine that was controlled by the Britons, because that land was 
first controlled by the Turks under the Ottoman Empire. And then when, the, when Britain and France defeated the Turks, the Ottoman Empire, they took control of the Middle East. In 1922, Lord Balfour put a letter together in the House of Parliament that allowed these Eastern Europeans to come back. Because what yeah. they were doing, they were practicing a thing called Judaism, yeah. which comes out of the Babylonian Talmud. You've got there's two books that they use, the Jerusalem Talmud and the Babylonian Talmud. The only part of the Bible that they use is the first five books of Moses, which refer to as the Torah, which just means the laws. That's the, they don't refer to the rest of the Bible. Then they got another book called the Babylonian Talmud and the Jerusalem Talmud, which are not the books of the prophets that they use and they practice out of. And they, they worship a thing that they call it Judaism. That's what it's called. It's a religion. They don't belong to the 12 tribes of Israel. They're not the Jews of the Bible. This is why the Lord is coming. This is why there's been a great awakening across the Americas around the world about the children of Israel. Because the Lord said in the Bible, it's prophesied that the kingdom of Judah and the kingdom of Israel, which makes up the 12 tribes of Israel, the children of Israel will be awoken in these last days. In the book of Ezekiel, chapter 37, it speaks about the awakening of the children of Israel. It talks about the dry bones. And it says, let me quickly read this to you. This is the prophecy that's, being fulf that's fulfilling right now in front of your eyes. This is why she knows that she's an Israelite. This, this young lady here. Now, this is um, Ezekiel, chapter 37. This is what Ezekiel, this prophecy came to Ezekiel in the spirit, in a deep sleep, right? But this is to do with the last days that we're in today. It says, so, so we, you believe we are in the last days? Absolutely. Yeah. Why? The last days, the last days actually. When, when you say last days, okay, so let, when you, how many days are you talking about? Okay, let me explain to you. Days. Yeah. Nobody no, but I have a year. So right. you can go for another hundred no, 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 no. When you mean the last days, it's like certain things are happening Absolutely. that has been prophesied. Absolutely. That will give you incentive uh, to know that the last days are yeah. nine. Okay, but not like you know, say, and that's why my, me, I, I just like okay, prophecy. Uh -huh. People have been prophesied for ages. Because that's if what, you kind of go back, people have come up with absolutely. prophecies and things like that's the end of the day, that's the end of the day, that's the end of the day. Absolutely. And then the Bible and also it's says, never come. We've been going on oh, no, for years. And it, the Bible says nobody knows come. the day or the hour. So it doesn't, doesn't matter whether people I say understand. in 2020 the world can be over. I understand, but what you're saying is like if this is the last days. That's what well, you just said. Okay, listen, oh, let, 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 me, let me clarify that. Yeah, okay. The last days began when the Lord, our Lord himself, right was born right wow. so the lord who the world ignorantly calls jesus christ his name is yahweh shai okay. he's a hebrew from the tribe of judah the last days began when he was born and that's been 2000 two, I mean, years ago absolutely okay. so we are we are we are now in the latter days of why those last days years oh because that's when he was born no, but what I'm saying is like, why call that the last day? Why not? Because why, why so long? I mean, people come and go. People because come and go. I mean, we didn't let me explain something to you as well. Okay. I mean, All right, generation okay. of okay. Generation. Let me explain something to you again as well. Right. A thousand years to us yes. is one day, day to the most high. Right, okay, but let me ask you this: A thousand days to us is what? Uh, 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 let's say, for example, I've got seventy years to live on this planet. Yeah. Within my my days of being on Earth, yeah. you know, it might not happen. No, it doesn't have to happen, that's right. But, okay, well, but now, 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 let me hear me out. So you, I mean, you know, the, the believers mm -hmm. have been prophesied at the end of the day. So generation after generation after generation, after generation because everything, coming and saying, this is the last day, this is the last, so why would I now, you know, change you anything okay, when you might not even come okay, within my, my, my lifetime? It's not about that though, it's about practicing what the word says and, 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 and observing God's word. So to you, he might not come in your time, as you just said, like a day, a, a thousand years to God's not a day. Yeah. He but what the point I'm saying years. to me, as God I God am God sitting here the, on earth, he might not come to me. So what but, difference does that listen, make? If, if, if the, listen, if the Lord doesn't yeah, come to you, right. it's because he, he, is, he is not seeing fit to open your eyes. It's as simple as that. Yeah. So if you're not able to receive the word, because he's not seeing fit to open your eyes, he's seeing fit to open her eyes. That's why she can see what's happening. Yeah. What I'm saying to you is that for us to know what times are in according to Bible prophecy, we look what's going on in the secular world. And then we look at the prophecies of the Bible. So there are two major prophecies left to be fulfilled before the Lord himself turns up with the angels to take down this whole establishment around the world. Two major prophecies. One is the mark of the beast, which is the microchip. It has to be fulfilled. 
We are living in a time where everything is going digital. The microchip is going to play a major part in these last days. We believe that there's going to be a 9-11 event that's going to cause the microchip to go global. All money is going to go digital, everything. Your microchip is going to become your digital wallet, your passport, your driving and license. Bad? Absolutely. Why? Because that's the mark of the beast. You don't understand. And anyone that receives that mark is going to die. Are we already in a digital world? Why no, no, no. This stuff I'm, I'm talking about the actual microchip. It goes into your skin. Right. So if oh, you're so we going to get a microchip in the skin. Yeah, we're gonna we're, we're coming to a stage where the world uh, absolutely right. Okay. Where, well, currencies are all gonna go digital. Where well, you're not gonna have physical money to go to the ATM and withdraw out and spend. It's all gonna go digital. But my point is, is that we're gonna we're coming to the stage where the microchip is gonna pay a full Why? Can I ask you why the microchip is the is the is the, is the, the mark of the beast? Why? Oh, why? The Bible why? Says that. Out, hold on, no, out of everything, you yeah. pick the microchip to be the mark of the beast. Oh, because the Bible says that. Because the, the word mark that. means that. But what does it, when does it say in the Bible, hold microchip? Hold on, hold on, it's not going to say on. microchip, it says, is it? it says, no, of course not. Okay, right. What I'm, 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 so, I'm for you to so understand, okay. it's a question of interpretation, right? No, 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 no. No, it's no, not. No. It's very technical. Sorry. Go on. Revelation 13, verses 16 to 18 tells you quite well. What does it say? What does that Revelation 13. It's right there. Verses 16 to 18 tells you. It causes all. It causes all. I really want to go but, now. But, 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 it causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond. Can you read it? Where is the link? The link that between that and okay. the microchip? I'm going to tell you. Because the word. It's the interpretation. Because the word microchip means that. 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 Because the word microchip that's what the word karagma means, right. right? So this is how we know. Also, when you go to the word 666, the word 666 in the Greek is chi, sti, stigma, right? Now, the word stigma, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read it out to you, because it's better if I read it out to you word to word for you to understand. But Alex, you're laughing, but you don't read, so I don't know why you're laughing. No, that, I, don't, I don't something. read. A you question. Read. That's one. A question. That's all right. You can, you can question, but I'm going to quickly show you. This is the word stigma. It's all interpretation. Before you go, it's not interpretation. It's not interpretation. I'm going to show you. Let me quickly show you. Let me just quickly show you here so you because can see. Because it doesn't say in the Bible anything about microchip. It's not going to say microchip. It. That would be it's ignorant for me to say that. Because and why? Because at the time they were, no, they were no, 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 no. And that's what the, the, the remember, beauty of... Uh, uh, no, 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 uh, no, 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 no. Remember, the, the, remember, the Bible is a book of parables. Symbolic and metaphoric meanings. Exactly. Right. So you've got to that, understand. All those right, you so I'm made. gonna show you, I'm gonna show you. If you have patience, I'm gonna show you. Yeah. Look and see here. I'm gonna show you. Right? I don't wanna be like getting that uh, bombarded by No, it's alright, it's alright. Don't worry about bombarded. I'm gonna show you. <laughs> just so you can see. Into right? the volume. So this exactly. is the word. <laughs> quickly, 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 just quickly show. I want I want I want you to see for yourself, right? This is the word Kai Stai Stigma, right? In the Greek, six six six. Right? The word is Christi stigma, right? In the Greek, right? Yeah. Now, if we go what we call. Oh, sorry. No, but I believe sorry. you. You don't need to show me. You just... No, no, it's, it's always best if I do show you. Maybe you should because you don't read. Right. So this is what the word mark means. Like you read it for yourself and tell me what that could be. Just read that box. That, that. Or branded up in the body, this ancient oriental usage, slaves and soldiers both name on the stem of the master on, or the commander branded for tricks into the body to indicate what master or general And they were given to some devotees who spent themselves in the Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's alright, Alex. Alright. Okay, so you're right, you're right, that's all right. So, do you understand? So this is how we know. We don't just read the Bible. And uh, my YouTube channel is Judah underscore Israel. Keep it, keep it at the place. Yeah, 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 it's right, yeah, yeah. Judah underscore Israel. Yeah. So what you understand is that when, we, when, we're, when we're prophesying and when we're breaking down the scriptures, we're not just reading a book. There's two things that has to be working with you. One, the Holy Spirit has to be working with you to understand the scriptures. Two, we go into the etymology of the words, what they meant when they were written. So we look at the, the original language, what it meant when it was written. This is why I'm showing you the meaning. So we know that when it's talking about this mark, this thing that you're going to need to buy or sell is what they're going to cut into you. And the reason why we know that is because 
not because they actually are using it right now. Right now, in Sweden and in America, people are microchipped and they're paying for everything. They can go into the shop and they're buying it. If you go into the Amazon shop, you know the, the new Amazon shops? What they use at the moment in the shop is their palm. They go in there and they pay for it with their palm. Okay, so this is how we know what the word okay. mark is. Right, okay. So what so I don't understand do is Israel. As, okay, if like, people are Jews to do that. Yeah. What's so basically what you're saying is that by doing that, Ultimately, they've chosen yeah. to, 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 uh, 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 to die, basically. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Because the Bible tells you that. Okay, so that's the mark of the beast, yeah. right? It says, it says here. So what you say is like, to be able to be saved is just to go against technology. No, 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 no. I'm not thinking of glory. I'm just trying to kind of say it is like something that is so kind of like technology where people like, for a reason, are getting into something. And that First and foremost, has been used as the mark of okay. the beast, as an indication, they're gonna add the other one. Who's gonna be... you know. okay, okay. Okay. But anyway, you are, are you Israelite. Here? How often are you here? Uh, every I like, Sunday. I like to just, I'm, every, I'm, every, I'm the word I'm here, and we can discuss it. I'm here I'm every to Sunday again. at this time. Every right. Sunday around this time right. I'm here. All right? You're Israelite, no matter what you think, whether I you believe be, or not. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't disagreed with that. I yeah, yeah, be, yeah. Because Congo is just a name that they named your country. Yeah, yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying yeah, to you? Yeah, yeah. Your real nationality is that you are of the 12 tribes of Israel. That's who you are. And that. Yeah, yeah, you could be. That's right. Absolutely. And that. All right. Have a good day, fam. Israel, boy, the hardest. We always say that. They're the hardest, Israel. They're the hardest. But you see, it's, it's funny because that's the second, that's the second female absolutely sure knew that she was an Israelite. Whereas the guy, he is from Congo, he wasn't sure if he's an Israelite or not, right? But whereas she, the female that he was with, was 100% positive sure that she knew, she knew she was an Israelite, she knew certain scriptures and that, and she was even trying to explain to him certain scriptures and that, but she was 100% on board. She knows, she knows that we're the Hebrew Israelite, she knows that she's a Hebrew Israelite, I give all praise to how about should be able shy. For him, like I said to him, the Lord hasn't seen fit to open his eyes. The lady that he's with, the Lord has seen fit to open her eyes. It's simple enough that we can do about that. All we can do is preach the word and show them the word. Because, like I said, the Bible is a book of parables, symbolic and metaphoric metaphoric scriptures. That's why the Lord, um, the Lord always said, the disciples said this to the Lord. And we're going to go back to Job 20. That's why the disciples said this, right, to the Lord, right? This is why the Lord said this. He says here, who has, this is Matthew chapter 13, verse 9. It says, who has ears to hear, let him hear. So he didn't hear. She heard. She's heard the word. She was able to receive it. But he, he's not able to receive it yet. Or should I say, the Lord's not ready to to open his ears. So the Lord Yahweh Shai says here, in Matthew chapter 13, verse nine, who has ears to hear, let him hear. And the disciples came and said unto him, why speakest thou unto them in parables? Because a lot of this, when we're teaching to these people, if the Lord ain't opening their ears, is this gonna sound like another parable? It's not gonna register. With the young lady, it registers. I can see she's fully on board. She understands. She knows what the mark of the beast is, the microchip. She knows the mark is the microchip. She knows she's a Hebrew Israelite. She knows how we got to the West Coast of Africa. So she's obviously been doing some reading, studying. She's been watching certain videos, whatever, just like what you guys are doing now. She's been edified by the Hebrew Israelites to know that the microchip is the mark of the beast, to know how we got to the West Coast of Africa, to know about the 400 years of slavery. She knew certain things. So she's been edified somewhere on who we truly are and she's able to accept it why because the lord has opened her ears her spiritual eye for her to receive it whereas the guy that she is with the lord has not opened his eyes or his ears his spiritual eye for him to receive it so when the disciples came and said unto him said unto Yahweh, why speak thou unto them in parables he answered and said unto them so Yahweh answers the disciples and says unto them because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven but to them it's not given and that's a simple answer 
For those of you that are able to receive this truth of the scriptures, it's because it's given unto you by Yahweh Shai through the powers of the Holy Spirit to understand the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. The mysteries of the kingdom of heaven are in the Bible of who the true children of Israel are. It's given unto you. That's why you're able to be edified. That's why you're here online now receiving the word. But to him, it's not given. The Lord is not given unto him to understand the mysteries of, of the kingdom of heaven. So he may be so in love with technology when the microchip comes, you know, full swing in England, he'd be one of those that'll be queuing up probably to get it unless the Lord decides to open his ears. Because I can only show him what the Bible says. I can only show him what it is that we are teaching, how we know what it is we are teaching through the Holy Spirit. Because like I said to him, I said, look, I said, if the Holy Spirit is not dealing with you, then you're not going to understand the scriptures. And the same thing goes for you to receive it. The Holy Spirit is not on you. You're not going to be able to receive the word that we are teaching. So the Lord is not ready to open his ears, his spiritual eye. But the girl that he's with, she was. The Lord was. It's as simple as that. So we're going to go back to Job chapter 20. <laughs> we're not making it. We're trying our hardest to make through Job chapter 20. But that's all good. That's all good. It's beautiful to see that the sister was fully understood and fully on board. That's the beauty of it all. 